off the one hero, but uh, I think it might be get out of jail time now, and I'm not sure they're going to be allowed. Supreme's already dead. BKB is available from Ulnit if he wants to just BKB TP out. Wants to get one more kill. We'll get it. Now BKB TP away. All right. That was clean from the Sven. A little bit of life being shown from Ulnit. Yeah, we take those, you know, they're, they're, they're little dubs if you're, if you're a mouse fan, right? Like, you've got yourself, what, a Tiny gets a streak, uh, Sven gets another bit of a streak as well, 400 gold, 500 gold going the ways of the two cores, like, very, very... very... <laughs> Set the guy on the D stream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Beast Coast Aegis now in the watery hands of the Morphling. They feel like they can do anything. Wow, Force? What the... Huh? What's he doing here? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Naman's gonna get killed off as well. They found the extra. Uh... Start this one off. Requiem out. Fears up on you. This is gonna be dieback if they get him. It is gonna be a curse on to Gabby. But with the BKB on Noxemi, he just doesn't care right now. They'll keep turning around. Abed maybe on the run. They use the BKB on Echoes. He needs to link up, but he doesn't get on top of the SF. So now on the high ground, Gabby turn around with the stun. Oh, the Abyssal Blade on Abed. Raise one, raise two. Have they found the Shiro, the Alchemist, the heal, the Yules? They're actually keeping him alive right now with the nuke damage. It's way too much. Abed will get the comments there with a little strata to get rid of those pesky bugs, but it's not going to matter. Pakes in deep, finishing the job onto the Sven. Can he make it out? No. The crit finishes the job. The Sven is gone. Bengen's out as well. They'll move across towards Supreme. He is taken out of the equation. A GG's a cool game one it goes to beast coast with peg getting an ultra kill give him the rampage there you go just before the ancient explodes yeah this was such a strong game from beast coast like the way that they approached it oh he, he doesn't know yet he doesn't get the blink off now the requiem well well that's that, that'll kill you that'll do that's it some way to kill a tiny right there <laughs> yeah oh no Still running onto the high ground now, focus fire being used. Tim's doesn't have to be able to get this under. In fact, if he gets close enough to Lumpy, could just take away all his HP. But they're coming out on the CK. Pike armored his body up, but he didn't get the sun in time. He just dies, and now Watson able to turn this one around still low. Still no Sunder, but the team has arrived. Vitaly gonna get walked on down. I am astonished. Oh, the toss. Oh, oh, okay, so Lumpy still gets the kill. Oh my goodness. And poor guy, he's gonna get ran down too. He does get the return kill, but Lumpy, unfortunately, not enough to keep himself alive for now. In fact, they're gonna lose four heroes. Job in these fights, now grabbing themselves, I think our first high ground siege of the game from either team, except for the one. Oh no, 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 Shiro! Shiro! Oh, they actually get him. He's just dead, and now Echo's gonna Echo's turn around some hook shots here. This isn't a fight without Clockwork anymore. Big Boy is home, and Echo's, he surely will fall here. Not seeming to pick up the kill, and you finally rolling through for this one, but your team, your team has already fallen. Not seeming actually able to turn around on this one, trying to get the roll through. Do they have anything to stun? No, they don't. He'll get out of this one, and Blacklist, from the caster's perspective, we know. Blacklist, they're feeling pretty strong right now. With this Lincoln's now on the Razor, sure, there's a little bit more to work through, but... Uh, not that much. They still have the upper hand. And they see Shiro farming in the mid lane. This could be the jump they want. Oh! What a blink. The fastest fingers in the west there from Shiro. And now get on out, team. Too embarrassed. Got to get out of here as quick as we can. That's BKB from Abed. That was the shield rune even that he wanted to use. Jumps in on Schofield. Tries to force the BKB on Tomato. And he does. Does he fall? He does not. In comes Divine Llama. Oh the my damage. goodness. The damage. Tomato's BKB is spent though. Hector. Got to be careful. The curse ground hits. And Whispers on top of him. They get the kill. KJ trying to find the kill onto Tomato. But they both die. Double buybacks coming out from Heroic. Divai Lama flying around on the backside here, trying to get some information. If they can get... I'd be expecting that, but look, they're on a Thompson Fishman. He's just chasing after him. Fishman, there's no way you can just solo Thompson. That's not allowed. He's won two TIs. At the meantime, Tundra, they're winning this fight. They get through Watson. He does not have a buyback. Ramsey's he's still alive at this fight as well, as his second Doom is going to condemn no one. He goes down. Fishman picked off by Thompson now. SDM, he has no way out of this fight. Pure activates the BKB, goes 1v1 mode there versus DM, and Tundra win the fight. Here. See if we can force a buyback. They get the tier 3 top, but instead set their sights, sorry, down bottom. Still 40 seconds 
until Watson's back in the game. Tundra beating down your bot lane of Barracks now. There's the smoke, instantly broken by Fisherman as the jump in from no one, trying to initiate. There is no Aegis, but it's a five versus four fight, and quickly it's a four versus three, as Fisherman actually still alive, kept alive for now, but Ramses finds him, right clicks him down. They get the ET, there's a buyback now, a four on four, as no one finds another great sim, but Pure, he was baiting him. BKB active now from Pure, as the Mana Void blows up DM. Buyback after buyback, but they've fallen now on the storm for what might be the final time pure he's tp and out though used all the utility entity they defend the bottom and top barracks winter but it's at a heavy cost yeah it was uh, a very very heavy cost there for entity they had like a couple of buybacks they lost the storm again you know i mean he died once they're in range to get their spells off the riff uh, when they they get it off cooldown just uh, just so well played you know in that team fight Props to PO and Thompson there. Yeah. So, the, so the, uh, this is such a crazy fight because the off laners are immediately KO'd. Yeah, the mech didn't really save the Doom here, but it was uh, just good enough initiation that they kind of had uh, ways to finish off uh, the key targets. And there was a, this was a very nice Crystal Clone by Fishman here, just uh, helping the Lash to do a lot more damage in the team fights. But Thompson yeah, is standing his ground. He's just standing there. Look at how yeah, how is yeah. playing the fight. Toggles his armlet, comes back in, goes back out, pulls him in, goes back out, yeah. Off, yeah. off his armlet, come back in, help the it's sniper. It's perfect. Top line. Ramses is gonna dodge the hook. That was another fight ground here is Entity. They jump onto Pure. Pure, he's gonna get Scythe device. There's no one he dodged the spear. Watson jumps into the arena trying to get this kill onto Ramses, but now no Mana one. Boy. He's gonna be turned into a Mana Bomb. He's killed off. Ramses gets the killing blow as Watson held in place there by the Earth Splitter. The Maiden, she's gonna fall next. Suspicion gets off a Frostbite, but just before he can die, Watson, he's gonna BKB up. Wants at least this kill onto the Mars. Will find it. Turning back now, fighting into Pure. Pure though, he finds a Bash, and now the Mana Void. Watson, he needs some more help. He's gonna get, get tossed though. Into place now onto DM, who is the second to go. Oh, the damage, the damage, nearly enough to kill through Pure, but he lives just on a sliver of HP. And Pure, I mean, Pure. carrying the fight. Holy. Pure is the king of the Street Fighter right there. <laughs> Come out? Oh no, what a disaster for Mouse. Nobody checking the Roche pit. Okay, Force is here. He's gonna be like, wait oh a God. minute. Is he gonna make Roll it? Thunder? Is he gonna make it to the pit? He does it, but here charge. comes Please the Blink Shaker. Oh my God. God. <laughs> the Requiem and it's everybody. The age is still picked up by GPK, but two dead and about to be a third. Tip Force, baby. He did it. Coming through the gate like, oh, I found them. Oh, he points up to the high ground. Kind of separated from the rest of his team now. Is he going to go here. around? He's going to be completely isolated, though, as Watson gets initiated. Okay, from behind he's goes Nolan. He actually gets caught by the ice path. Now he's going to be hit by the Doom as well, so he's not going to have any heals. Watson trying to get on top of someone as he does manage to get a dismember now onto the Doom as Ramses. He drops a second Doom, though. Katsuomi, he's dying. This Macropire, the double Macropire, is just too much. Entity, they are all melting. Holy. Three dead just like that as the Maiden Shakiro. is going to be the blast to go. Jack hero, man. This hero. They all burning. The Lincolns. This game, he's gotten like blink BKB four staff. He just wants to be able to pull them into the enemy team. Banner goes there, down. Gonna... Oh, you pulled something into the enemy team. That is not ideal. Tomato will still lose his Aegis to the Enchantress. In comes Whispering. It's the BKB. The Roar actually used defensively just to get out. But now Seb pulled right into mod. <laughs> the LOL Lol. from Divine. You're playing a game, sir. Get in there. Jumps in on Schofield, tries to force the BKB on Tomato, and he does. Does he fall? He does not. In comes Divine Llama. Oh my goodness. The damage. Tomato's BKB is spent, though. Hector, gotta be careful. The Curse Ground hits, and Whispers on top of him. They get the kill. KJ trying to find the kill onto Tomato, but they both die. Double buybacks coming out from Hero. So he's about 1,600 gold away. I'm gonna go for their Tormentor really quick. He does have a lot of bonus souls. That Ultra Kill giving him four souls is pretty big. If he doesn't die anytime soon and gets that like BKB Aghanim Scepter and that 20 talent, uh, how you're does this kidding always, me! How does, dude, how does this if always there is, happen to BB Team? I was gonna say, it's always BB Team, dude. This is the one team that the only thing that ever defeats them is... Falcons and Tormentors. It's Falcons and Tormentors. It, that's it. <laughs> if they can beat... Middle of nowhere right now, Thompson. 
He's forced the fight back, but the static is out right onto the snap fire. And it seems as though he will be set to fall. As Night Class also follows, and now Ramsey's he'll be glimpsed back by Insania. Nisha will find a double on the Ember. And Team Liquid finding a three for nothing trade. And that was off the back of the initiation from Tundra. I'm a little bit of time. Pure still gonna drop though as Nine Class. He does at least take down Insania, but it's a great trade so far for Team Liquid. It's 33, almost dropping with the Brulings. In fact, he does drop. They'll find all of them. Black Hole in the meantime, Ramses, he'll find Nisha. The solo pickoff here for Ramses. Oh my, I mean, Liquid, they really wanted a good team fight to go their way, but it's going to be a three for one trade in the favor. And they caught top lane. There is an Aegis down. They found 33 with the first life, but can you get in the second time around? They'll land the dead shot. They'll get a silence out. 33, dropping low, gets the roar out in time. Pure in danger. Can he get the Sunder off? It seems like he cannot. He could not find a target. He got the Manta in time, but that's about it. As Thompson's going to drop to boot. It's a full team wipe. Team Liquid. No, they got 33, but what does it matter? Lead it on our Razor. Smoke is out though. Ramsey's getting a nice arena spear out right onto Mickey though. He gets the BKB in time with the Earth Spitter. It did land Mickey. He's very low, but he'll get the static link off. Ramsey's. Ramsey's the one in trouble. Ramsey's is down. Meanwhile, a roar out. They caught Pure with that. The TB is gone. 33 will take him out as now Thompson. Thompson a drop as well. A full team wipe. A team liquid. My goodness. And Mickey not even dying. And 33 just casually ripping them a new one. That's 70 seconds without you either. That is massive. And again, that, that 70 seconds could be an early growth as well. Ooh, 33. Dropping low. Nisha pops the Requiem. Pure being forced away now Ooh. with the fear out. But the kisses are incoming from one one to try and help out. Here comes Thompson to try and help to boot. It looks like Pure, who actually survived the through armlet. this. The armlet. Pure does not die. The armlet stoggles just allow him to survive as now Insania and Boxy are both gone. Oh my Holy. goodness, Pure just refusing to die. All stuff away, now Maureen looking to move in onto Q with the epicenter, does land it immediately as there's going to be a relocate in onto Maureen, uh. but they're right into Skitter. Oh no, not like this. Black Hole, oh. it's committed. Maybe they at least find the spend, but he's still got the age of sub. What? Bottom lane, Skidder does get caught by an avalanche, but the toss is out as well. Q setting up on Skidder. Skidder's got some help coming in from the backside. Oh. Here comes the Epi and the Burrow strike. Maori landing on two. He found Kingslayer with it to boot. And they'll take down jabs on top. A triple kill for Maori. As it might just be an ultra in a second. Q also caught. No chance of survival. There's an ultra for Maori. And I'll tell you what, I mean, Falcons, both side lanes have been struggling a lot, and they still are when it comes to the net worth department, but Maureen... ...stream as save is infested up. Arme has Lincolns on him, they go with a jump lasso, the Rubik's caught out, and a damage from the Sven, cleaving into three of them. Shinku's dead, Miero's traded out, but Murana's on the run, and GPK is left stranded. Tries to TP out with his BKB going, but the physical... Oh, hang on, he's invis! How's he got out of that one? Oh, no. He... I think he disp... Wait, was he not under sentry vision there still? The Static Storm, Nine Class looking to die. 33, who would he catch? Thompson, already so darn low. Thompson being chased by Nisha, he's gone. Why want to follow? Meanwhile, towards the south, Pure's been caught by a roar. There is no chance of survival here, though he will at least sunder. He'll try to fight back, but there's just nothing. There is nothing to be done. Four down for Tundra. Only Ramsey's to survive, and 33's having a look for him on top. He wants the final piece. Look at this, 33. <laughs> Give the man a break. Spear will not land. Glimpse is out, though. He'll give the vision. It's all about sending a message. They killed Miero here with a multicast and big damage out of XM. The chase is now on. The Try and find GPK. Move on the Dragonite with Ame arriving, but the BKB's up. Dragonite shiny golden and trying to run back, but that life stealer just disappears. The Sven with a 10k net worth. Arme joins the first fight 18 minutes in and says, nah, this time I get to go on you. Oh my, the Sven fight.
Throwing some illusions down the lane for a bit. It's kind of interesting. They're, they're looking at the spirit go to the right, and they did they not see the jump them. on the troll from behind. They slipped in, Wait, and the swap, swap went out there, and he did not get the swap onto the troll like they intended. He's still getting away with the BKB and the Glimmer Cape, though, and Quest have to back away from the Supernova once again. Ducalis is in some trouble, gets off a clap, but looks like he's going to die of the Magic Missile, which bounces over into the Doom as well. PSG Quest, once again, they got the initiation, an even better one than any of other the other times, and it's still not good enough. Did they just not get the hex off on the troll fast enough? Like Ame just BKBs it. And the second that happens, he just runs it off. Even with the swap, I think mid. Yep, and probably needs to catch the Beastmaster. Yeah. I mean, needs to catch the Beastmaster. They're gonna try there. and start things off. They're gonna try and see if they can burst Mickey down the ones they can. Off guard. Kick on the ones, Maliki. Put the BKB out. He's, he's gonna got go the, the black hole on the Beastmaster. Drop it onto 33 and move across. So they got the damage to bring 33 it's down. They're beating into him with the metamorphosis with 33. He's two tees off. He's back up for HP. It's TA 2000. On towards TA 2000. TA 2000 caught by the hex follow up. He's out. GG. No buyback. It's game over. GG is called Liquid. They clean up their acts coming into this game too. Much and better. This, this is the type of Dota they want to play, right? They yeah. want to just run you over, as you say, 30 or so minutes in. They were definitely kind of going for that direction in game one. They just never got it together. It was too messy. It gets punished. This time round, yeah, the 20 minute mark hits. It's go, go, go. And there's no stopping them at that point, Fog. Yeah, first 15 minutes, a little wishy washy. Yep. But then, boom, they do catch that stride. They get that imposition. They get that one big team fight. It's really all it took to just blow things open. The perfect catch from that wraparound up top. And the level sixes are going to hit really quick. It's particular for 33 Sven. The good thing about TA2000 is he can just go to the jungle, which he probably does have to do very soon. As I'll see this again. This is the, the oh, first one. The, that, yeah, look, look, that was it, a wave of terror that aggroed it, it looked like. It was. They hit at the same frame. It I mean, like. it really did. I mean, imagine that little little old creep out doing the damage of the ZT's right clicks after he's been buffed up. Look at this one. And uh, he gets he gets Lotus, I believe, from Mickey for a second does. there. So it puts he him does. up a little bit better. And then I get that. I mean, and allows the neutral to just finish him off. Yeah, it's neutral creep <laughs> camp. It's, uh, it's two kills to it right now. Yep. Doing a great job. Oh, E.T. I mean, this hero's gonna get nerfed, unfortunately. It's my favorite hero, but it's it's gonna get nerfed. I mean, it's, it's so it, busted. It, 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 there's, there's kind of... I guess they're afraid to try and find the fight. They get a two-man hook shot. The two of them. They get the cogs down the supernova as well. They could push forward to be able to Black take on three. With the three-man black hole, it's a beautiful one from Malik. As they get the cleanup. I mean, they'll take that any the day clutches. of the week. It really is. It doesn't matter. Those first few minutes, rough time in the lane. Outside of that, he catches back up. And now he's making these sort of plays. He gets the Midas first, doesn't matter. He's able to get the... With a four heroes from Team Spirit, a last-ditch effort to try and get there in time. Yatoro goes in. A beautiful vacuum impale combination that hits all five. But do they have the damage? The heals come out. They're going for the Chen right now. Radon is doing everything he can. Telkinesis tops away. Radon cannot keep his little claws on any of Game and Gladiators. They Walk all slip off. through the fingers. Now a buyback on the Invoker is going to result in nothing as they continue to get shredded by Duraccio time and time again. More buybacks from Team Spirit, but the damage is done and Megas have been taken. I mean, if you're not winning the fight off of a five-man vacuum pill, you're not winning anything this game. An eight. Be a menace around the map. Be very strong in the turnaround in terms of the reactionary counter ganks. I'm looking to Laurel this game, and I mean, Team Spirit feels like they look to him again and again when they need these games to get slowed down just a bit for the other two courts to get online. A lot of lane pulling shenanigans, but Mira might pay the price for it as he lets Durachio get a get too close. And Durachio is going to keep this battle going as uh, he puts damage on to collapse. Now he might die for this one, but I almost feel like it's uh, an exchange that's worth it because he thinks Celery's going to be able to outman fight collapse, but he will not. Collapse gets the double kill. Ah, the extra, the facet. Bonus attack speed here is going to get the deny on the neutrals as well. That mana burn creep was doing a lot of work for them on this lane, and I think. If they just play that slower, they win that overall exchange, especially over time. Sure. Uh, you can even end up in a scenario where Ursa just farms under the tower and the Chen just deletes the mana from the Dark Seer. You're pretty happy with that, but that is a big turnaround for Spirit. A lot of experience going into this Dark bottom tower has Probably go for BKB of his own, just so he can commit in against all the stuns. Uh... I don't think that's really an initiation there, noob. Um... Radiance bottom well, is under attack. Sometimes you just gotta.